wonderful world of Disney. And now, the wonderful world of Disney brings you the conclusion of The Boy Who Stole the Elephant. Exciting, the most astounding, the most incredible. Colonel Rufus Ryder, a frontier huckster, operates a traveling one ring tent show. In Hancock, Billy and Lucy Owens bring their mother and grandfather, the sheriff, to the Slipshod Circus. The Colonel's young assistant is Davy, an orphan whose parents had been circus performers. Though never really successful, the little mud show had fallen into sad times. The season had been lean and business was not good. The sudden cloudburst didn't help. Bye -bye. Nothing went right. As the performance continued, mounting troubles crushed morale. And then everything broke loose. Colonel, this circus is finished, and so are we. Our equipment's wore out, the, the tent's torn to shreds, and we got no money to fix anything. Well, now, we've all gone through these little difficulties before. <laughs> Colonel, you gambled away everything we ever owned. From now on, you'll find me absolutely dependable and trustworthy. Now, let's sneak out of here before I have to pay that feed bill. As they prepared to move on, Billy Owens, who had run away from home in search of adventure, hid on one of the wagons. Near the next town, they suffered a slight catastrophe. But that wasn't all. Cole, blimey! Uncle Rufus is Starway! Oh, no. What are you doing here? Joining the circus. Where are you from? Hancock. He was with the sheriff last night. Sheriff? He's my grandpa. Still? The decision was to send Billy back to town with Davy and Stilts, who had to get the wheel fixed. Ladies, we are in urgent need of a financial backer, and I think I know where to find one. Hoping to con an old friend and rival circus owner into giving him a loan, the Colonel called on Molly Jeffries. I'm never sure Summer's here until you arrive with your annual generous offer. For a mere $1,000, Molly. Every year I promise myself I will not lend you another penny. For just $750, Molly. And every year I have broken that promise. 500 Until this year. I'm standing pat. 200 100 Mm-mm. No, sir. You just lose it in another poker game. Oh, Molly, I've reformed. I, I swear it. I tell you what I will do, Rufus. I'll give you a job. A job? How could you? Meanwhile, Davy was enjoying his first contact with a real home and family. And it made him lonely for a home of his own. Children, here's some lemonade. The next day, there was a big surprise waiting for the discouraged troop. An elephant? Molly had changed her mind well, about the loan. Thank you, Molly. I would have preferred a modicum of cash. She's beautiful. What's her name? Queenie. Hello, Queenie. I'm Davy. Stills, how are you with elephants? Well, I'm really better with seals, but I worked with them one season, Colonel. All right, she's your responsibility. All right, but, uh, I'll need a helper. Davy and Queenie were soon inseparable, and the elephant became the only family he had. In the weeks that followed, they put together an act which was a resounding success. We'll be the biggest show on Earth. Long way to go for a bankroll like that, Colonel. Not if I take a few shortcuts, Stills. Well, thanks, Buck. It has been a pleasure. You're not quitting. You've got nothing left, I can see. I've got an elephant. Nope, like I said, cash. 
Well, if I lose, I'll dispose of her for you. All right. Well, again, I thank you, Bob. Who care will stay with you until I get my money? The Colonel knew that this was one bargain he had to keep. He wasted no time locating a buyer. Shh. No need to wake the boy. I'll make arrangements to uh, ship the elephant to your zoo tomorrow. You have the money, of course. Now, now you will never regret buying this animal. Frightened and confused by what he overheard, Davy was sure of only one thing. Before something happened to Queenie, he had to return her to Molly. But finding her would not be easy. And now, part two. wakes up, he's going to be looking for us. How did you sleep? don't you? Well, I can't take you back, and I can't leave you, so come on. Let's see, Miss Jeffress was in Johnson City last week. That should be south of here. Sunk him over there, east. So we go this way, 20 miles. She's supposed to be about in Georgetown this week, so that's another 10 miles. So that's 30 in all. Going straight this way. That's the second fence you've been through since last night. You're supposed to lift the rails, not just walk through them. Come on, better keep an account of all the damages. Should make it in a couple of days easy. All we gotta do now is find out where Georgetown is. <laughs> Perhaps he knows where Georgetown is. You two stay here. Hey, Mr. Wait, Mr. Wait! Hey, Mr. Wait! Well, 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 for heaven's sake. Oh, Jezebel, looky here now. Well, you're up bright and early, boy. Yes, sir. I just want to know if you know which way it is to Georgetown. Georgetown, is it? Well, now, you uh, planning to buy something, boy? No, sir. Well, that's a pity. Uh, you follow this here road and turn right at the first crossing. Then you go about four miles to the main road. What's that? He's an Angora goat. If I go that hey, way... I'll we'll... bet he's worth something, ain't he? Yes, are you, uh, you all alone, boy? 
Maybe you and me could come to some kind of mutual arrangement. Of course, I will come out the worst for it. Did. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Now get down. Go on, kneel. This is getting to be an awful long list. Three fences bust, one apple tree torn up, one haystack eaten. Steve, I had to uh, sell that elephant. I will, of course, make a, uh, a full confession to Molly and try to repay her in uh, some way. Meanwhile, we must press forward, uh, uh, start again, and uh, look forward to new uh, successes. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, Luke, just, just the man I'm looking for. Now, <clears throat> here's the plan. When we get to Grassy Forks, I'll send Davy and the rest out to put up posters, distribute handbills, and so forth. You and I will take Queenie no. and get... Shush, listen to me. We'll take Queenie into the freight station. No. And give her to Corbett, collect our money. No. And then... No what? No elephant. What, what do you mean, no elephant? She's gone. Oh, that's impossible. Where could she go? She's got... Uh, 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 put me down. Put me down. See? The boy took it. Well, why didn't you stop him? What's wrong? Davy's run off with the elephant. Oh, no! Yeah, well, I, I know it's sad, but uh, he still must be suffering under the delusion that his dream was true. Poor boy. Suffering illusions like that. What are we standing around for? Why don't we go find him? Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's not panic. You go get my horse. Now, uh, there's no reason for everyone to go. He couldn't have walked far last night. Luke and I will have him spotted within an hour or two. Now, uh, the rest of you go on to Grassy Fork. I'll be along later. Which way did he go? All right. Now, don't worry. I'll track him down. After all, how do you hide an elephant in broad daylight? <laughs>
Queenie, cut it out. Stop fooling around now. Where he's heading, all right. Molly's due there this week. Hurry up, Luke. We're wasting time. Come on here. Stand up. Shoo. Better get out of these wet clothes first. Go on, get in there. <laughs> what? Darnation! Come back here. What? All right. Just for that, you can sleep out all night. a few extra days, 48 hours at the most. Now, surely that's not unreasonable under the circumstances. Now, look, I, I've acted in good faith. I've, I paid you half uh, my debt, a thousand dollars. And uh, as soon as I find the boy, and I, I will find the boy, then I'll give the elephant to Mr. Corbett. Mr. Corbett will give me the money, and I'll give you the money. All right, all right, I'm coming. What, what do you want? I want my elephant. Where is it? Oh, oh, oh Mr. Corbett, I, I was just talking about you this very minute. Come in, come, come in. Uh, I have been waiting at the station at Grassy Fork for six hours. Why didn't you bring the elephant? Well, now I wanted to, Mr. Corbett. Believe me, I wanted to. Colonel Ryder, 
You and I had an agreement for which I paid you $1,000 in advance that you to would... deliver the elephant, and I will. But unfortunately, it's going to take a little time. You see, the elephant's not here. <laughs> the, uh, well, as a matter of fact, he's been... Stolen. Stolen. Well, b borrowed, if you will. You remember the little boy that you saw sleeping with the elephant? Well, uh, he's gone off with her. I don't believe it. Well, that was exactly my reaction, uh, but it's true. Now, evidently, he didn't want to see the elephant go to a zoo, but I assure you, Mr. Corbett, that I'll have that elephant back here before you can say... Forget it. Forget it. I haven't liked this whole setup from the start. I want my money back now. Well, unfortunately, that's not possible. You see, I've already disposed of it uh, in partial payment of a debt that I owe this gentleman. I see. It's a conspiracy. You're in this together. To build the Chicago Zoo out of $1,000. Well, you won't get away with it. I will prosecute you to the fullest extent of the law. My good man, I, I am not your good man, and I do not believe the story that the boy stole the elephant. As for you, sir. Sit down. Shut up. Luke. You sure you saw this boy take this elephant? Yeah. All right, Bub, I'll give you 48 hours if Mr. Uh, Corbett agrees. Why should I? Well, you get your elephant, I get my money. We both get what we want and nobody gets hurt. Uh, we hope. And what if he decides to uh, skip out? He won't. Not with Luke here watchdogging him. He won't. Now, Mr. Corbett. I'll wire every sheriff in the state, if necessary. All right. 48 hours. One corn crib, two baskets of apples. Green Queenie, I sure hope you don't get in a stomachache. Must come to around $30 already. Hope I'm doing the right thing taking you back to Miss Jeffers. Better get some sleep. We'll be started as soon as the sun rises. Okay. 
doctors round here. But perhaps there's a horse doctor. But we gotta find someone who won't tell on us. Look, remember that family I told you about? Well, I'm gonna go and see them. Billy and Lucy, they'll know a safe doctor. Now, you stay here and keep out of sight. You promise? Shadrach, you too. I won't be gone long. got a problem. I've got to get back to Queenie. If she's got a cold, it could turn into elephant pneumonia. We could give her some castor oil, only I don't think we've got enough. Castor oil won't do any good. We could take her to old Doc McGivery's. He lives just north of town. Billy, Lucy. I'm going down to the store, children, so finish your chores. Oh, Mom. And I'll bring you some ice cream. Okay. This doctor of yours won't tell anybody, will he? Nah, he's a friend. And we can get there without being seen. This wood's all the way. Okay, let's go. Lucy, you finish the piece. I want to go, too. No, you stay here. I'll tell Grandpa. Lucy, you wouldn't. Come on. Did you really seal her? I had to. What's the colonel gonna do if he catches you? Nothing. Set put me in jail for life, probably. See, Lucy, you better not tell. I mean, Grandpa takes being sheriff kind of serious. <laughs> yeah, what'd you say it sounded like, Elmer? Hey! <laughs> Terrifying, just terrifying. It ain't funny, Sheriff. Whatever it was tore a hole through my barn big enough for a darn train to go through. All right, we'll take a look at it. Are you sure you haven't been hitting the jug? No, sir. I couldn't get that drug. Nobody could. Help, Sheriff! Sheriff, help! Help me, Sheriff! Don't let it get me! Don't let it get me! Lock me up, please! What have you been doing, Reb? Bathing? 
bathing in the stuff? No, thing out there, drunk my whiskey, poured it on me, scared me cold sober, first time in 20 years. Now, what did? A thing, I tell you. Looked like a billy goat turned into a wild elephant with long hair. Then it grew a nose that long, Sheriff, and took my bottle. Boy, did you tie one on this time. A wild elephant? Oh, come on now, Elmer. Have you ever seen a long-haired whiskey drink an elephant? Nope. You ain't seen the hole in my barn yet, either. Queenie! Shadrach! They've gone! They've both gone! Gone where? I don't know, but we gotta find them. Come on, this way! sick last night, but she's still eating them. Come on, we gotta find them. while this critter lays waste to the whole countryside. All right. All right, you ain't got me convinced yet, but I guess I better look into it. You go get the mayor. I'll see if I can round up some of the boys to help. Come on, Reb. Huh? We're gonna see if we can find your elephant. Oh, really? Listen, Davy. maybe we better ask my grandfather for help after all. The way she's going, she could hurt somebody. She might even get into town. Wait a minute, where are you going? Oh, oh, oh now, boy, oh, 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 oh. Come on, maybe he'll give us a lift. Get in the house and lock the doors. Lock the doors? It's an elephant. Listen, woman, do as you're told. I can't, it'll go right into the window. What will I do? Can you give us a ride? Mr. Wicks, we've got to get in the house. I'll take care of the children. You just get in the house. Just get in the house. Reb's and Elmer's word for it. We don't know if there really is an elephant. Now, Reb, you say you're the last one that saw this animal. Where was it? Yeah, I was the last one to see it. Uh, outside of town here, about a half mile on the back road. Why, that thing must have been 50 feet tall. <laughs>
that was here last month. Davey, what happened? haven't touched your food. We're not hungry, Mom. Oh, no. Things could be worse. I don't see how, Mom. I truly don't. Poor Queenie. You do believe I didn't really steal her, don't you, Mrs. Owen? Oh, of course we do, Davy. We all do. I'll get you some milk. Anybody feed that thing in? Yes, sir. I did. We all did. For the last two hours. Did you send a telegram? I did. 
Guy won, too. Things are getting so complicated, I don't know what belongs to who. Colonel says the elephant belongs to him. Davey says it belongs to Miss Jeffries, and the mayor says if he don't get paid, he's going to sell it himself. Dollar elephant stolen by runaway boy. Fantastic reward for information. Notify Colonel Rufus Ryder. As soon as I got that, I got a message to him. He'll be here first thing in the morning. What about the telegram to Miss Jeffries? No answer yet. One thing we know, she's left Georgetown. So I sent a tracer. <laughs> I can make arrangements to have her delivered to you today. And she's a, a real bargain. I'll, I'll tell you that, sir. Oh, Rufus, isn't there something you'd like to tell me, too? Oh, Molly, I... Because in a manner of speaking, Queenie belongs to you now, more than anybody. Mr. Corbett will give her a good home, Davy. That zoo of his is like a big, beautiful park. Of course, it is up to you to decide whether Queenie goes with him or back to the circus with me. Well, if there aren't any bars or cages or anything, and there's going to be all those children like you said. It's like I said, Davy. I guess it would be better for Queenie than doing four shows a day and traveling across three states every summer. I'll just go and say goodbye to her. Miss Molly, this is a balance for Queenie. Thank you. Now about those damages. So you see, Queenie, it's gonna be best for everybody. It's really a children's zoo. <laughs> and you know how much you like children. Instead of just having me for a friend, you'll have hundreds of friends. A lot of them, so poor, they couldn't ever come to see in the circus. Now, you won't be lonely. Honest. And I'll get him to take along Shadrach, just in case. And me, I'll come over to see you as often as I can. You know I will. Colonel Ryder? Yeah? I want to talk to you about Davy. Oh. Fine boy, Davy, yeah. Sometimes we all have to give up things we love, Davy. But you did make the best decision for Queenie. Now you have to make a decision about yourself. Davy, I've taken over your Uncle Rufus' whole circus and all the acts. I'd be mighty proud if you'd come along with us, too. 
Thank you, ma'am. Of course, I realize you are a very popular boy. There are others clamoring for your company. Well, we want you, Davy, very much. If you'd be willing to stay. That's for sure, son. You could have your own room and go to school with us, too. You could visit the circus next summer, stay as long as you like, and see all your old friends. I'm much obliged to all of you. But I guess it's up to you, Uncle Rufus. No, boy, it's up to you. Now, you were born to the circus. You could do worse than follow the road to the end of your days. But this could be a good life for you, too, if this is what you really want. I want to stay here more than anything. Davey, let's play a game of hide and seek. Not it! Not it! Lucy did it! Lucy did it! Well, everything worked out just fine, Molly, now that you and I are going to be partners. <laughs> partners? Why, you big bag of wind, you? You owe me $2,000. And you are going to work off every single penny selling peanuts. <laughs> I suggest that you put me in charge oh, immediately. Yeah, yeah. Put you in charge of anything. You would take over my whole circus in less than two weeks. Come on, bro.